The spindle assembly consists of the handle and threaded screw assembly, the screw washer, the locking ring, and the screws to secure it. After many years of use, the threads on the screw can wear down. This will cause excessive lash in the screw. Eventually, the threads can fail completely, so the vise can't be locked at all. Replacing the spindle assembly is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by unscrewing the spindle until the two halves of the vise are separated. As the two halves of the vise come apart, you want to make sure you have a firm grip on the front jaw as this piece is fairly heavy. Now I'll remove the spindle from the jaw and it's held in place with these three screws and the retainer. The retainer will slide off of the spindle, and now I can pull the spindle out of the jaw. You'll want to make sure that the washer comes out as well. Now I can begin installing the new spindle assembly, and I'll start by greasing the threads. Here I'm just using a bearing and chassis grease. I'll just apply a line of grease down one side of the threads. As you use the vise, it'll work its way all the way around the screw. Next, I'll slide the washer over the spindle, and now I can slide this assembly back into the jaw. I'll just slide the spindle into the jaw and secure it using the retaining ring. I'll leave the screws loose until I have all three installed. And now I can reassemble the two halves of the vise. I'll slide the two together until it bottoms out, and then I'll carefully turn the spindle until the threads engage and then I just screw it all the way back in. That's all it takes to install a new spindle assembly in your vise. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.